Okay, so first thing is first, and I want to let everybody know that Amber from Cupcake the Great won my giveaway um, for when I hit 100 subscribers. I was going to give two away, but there was only one person that met all the requirements, and um, so I'm really excited for Amber, and I We'll link her um, YouTube channel down below. She's really awesome. She's super friendly, and her videos are awesome. So definitely check her out, and congratulations to Amber. Anyhow, let's just jump right into the video. Today, I want to do a video on my top 10 favorite e.l.f. products. I have quite a few um, e.l.f. products that I like. I really enjoy e.l.f. cosmetics. Um, I have a few that... Eh, I ordered, I've tried, and I'm like, well, no, thank you. But um, I want to share with you 10 of my absolute favorites. So they're all from the studio line. They're all, they all cost, let me make sure. They were all $3, except one of them was 6 which I'll let you know. So let's jump right in and get started. And I am putting these in order from, like, my top to, I mean, they're all my favorites, but, like, Let's just get started. Number one, I've talked about it before. It's kind of all smushed right now, but it's the um, e.l.f. powder brush, which I use to apply my foundation, and I absolutely love this brush. It is amazing for applying um, foundation, BB cream, whatever. Sometimes I even use it to just apply my moisturizer just to make sure it gets all over and whatever. So e.l.f. powder brush, amazing. Number one. If I can only have one e.l.f. product, this would be it. Number two is the e.l.f. Um, high definition powder. It's just a translucent powder. And the packaging, it's kind of bulky, but I like it. I don't I don't really care. Um, it comes with like a little puffer, and it's just a white translucent powder. The way I do it is I shake like this, and then I get some powder on here, and I apply it to my face. And then I take a blending brush, and I just like blend it all in. So this sets my makeup really nicely and I really enjoy this product. This is the only one that is $6. The rest were all three, but this was $6. So I really like it. And then, you know, if you catch them on their half off like entire site, I paid three for it. So next elf product, which I've heard mixed reviews about, but I personally love. I have like six different colors now. So um, the elf cream eyeliner and it is a cream eyeliner. I don't have my brush in this my room with me or in this room, but it's really pigmented. I really, really like it. This one's in um, copper. I have so this one's copper, and obviously, you I guess you could use it as a cream eyeshadow, but they have cream eyeshadows. Um, anyhow, I have copper, I have plum, I have punk purple, I have black, and I have a teal color. I forget what it's called. I just placed an order about like um, like right after Christmas, so I tried a lot of newer colors out that I normally wouldn't. In these e.l.f. eyeliners, I I just love. So, that's me. Next product is another one I heard mixed reviews on, but I freaking love it. It is the Complete Coverage Concealer. And it comes with like four different tones. They're all pretty much like similar. I ordered this in light because the colors is what I heard like the like crazy part out. Normally I would get like step up from light. I think it's like light, fair, medium, dark. Well, I got the lightest one and it worked out perfect. So, and they're just, you guys, they're so creamy and I just, I mean, I love them. So this complete coverage concealer was $3 and I love it. I, I love it. I use it like in my, obviously to like brighten my eyes up. Oh, I love it. Okay. Number one, two, three, four. This is number five, and it is the Contouring Blush and Bronzer Duo. So I have two of these. I have the original one, which is like the St. Lucia or whatever. It just says blushed bronze because it's before they came out with other shades. And then I do have the Turks and Chaos, and I like both of them. So that's Turks and Chaos. And the bronzer is kind of dark, but um, it blends really nicely. Let me see. Yeah, it's really dark, but it blends really nice. So you can get it, you can get it lighter, but, and the blush is really pretty too. And then the other one is the like original one, which if you're going to try one of these out, I recommend this original one, which is St. Lucia. 
whatever. So I have both of them, and I really like these. Um, number six kind of correlates with that, but I tried out the contouring blush and bronzer cream. And I really like those. You guys can see I make quite a mess when I use them. I use um, a stippling brush when I use the blush. And my fingers are getting kind of dirty. But there's the bronzer on this finger and the blush on this finger. So they're really creamy, really nice to blend. Um, so we got blush and we got bronzer right above it. I really like this. $3. Can't go wrong. I always top it with a powder blush or powder uh, the bronzer. Sometimes I don't top, but really blendable. So really, really, really like that. Um, number seven is the e.l.f. Complexion Brush, which is just like a basic brush. It's really, um, it's really full. It's like, okay, I'm just going to say I had this brush for like a good year without even touching it. Cause I'm like, what the hell am I going to use this for? I just like couldn't find a really good use. And then I kind of like went branched out and just started like using it for everything. I'll use this for blush now sometimes, which you probably shouldn't cause it's like not really good for it. But sometimes I'll use it for bronzer. It's good for getting up in the hairline. And then what I mainly use it for is blending my entire face together. So I'll apply this like high definition setting powder and then I'll just blend everything together. So I really like this brush. Let's see, number eight, the eyebrow kit. Um, I don't, I always hear good things about this. It is a good product. So it just comes with a dark brown wax and a light powder. Um, and I have the shade medium. So what I'll use this for is if what I use it for is when I don't feel like doing my full out like brow routine and I'm just feeling lazy, I'll actually use the brush it comes with. It comes with like a really small side. So really, really small side like that. And then it comes with like a fluffy side for the powder. I'll just, when I'm in a hurry, I'll use this like really small side and I'll dip it in the wax and I'll just kind of like shape them in because the wax is like a transparent brown. Right now it looks just brown, but... Um, let me see. It is like a transparent once you kind of get it in your brows. So I really like this brow kit, $3. Last two things. The Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow. I have like, tw no, I don't have 12. I don't even think they have 12 colors. I have like four of these. I have, which one is this? I don't know. Toast, um, I'm trying to think of good colors if you guys want to try them. Toast, Soray, uh, Celebration. Uh, I don't know if it's Gala or Gala. It's like G-A-L-A, -A, Gala. I don't know. But you guys need to try these. They're just, um, it's a really crazy texture. So basically, I'm just like pushing my finger in there and kind of blend it. Wow. So it's on my finger. It's like, um, um the one thing I do want to say now, because now I'm just like, it's like, uh, uh. The one thing I do want to really tell you is they do have glitter in them, so... If you're not a glitter fan, you probably will not like these. I'm not a big glitter fan, but once in a while, I'll wear this. Plus, I just don't care. I just threw it on right in the middle, so you might be able to tell. The hand's just messy, but $3. Just try it out. Order one if you're not sure, but I like these. Um, like I said, they do have glitter, so be careful with that. And the last thing, which I really like, is the matte eyeshadow. One thing I don't like about this, but I like the packaging. Packaging, I'm not really like crazy. I don't care. Um, one thing I don't like about this is it is all over the place. It's a pigment. Like it's like a loose powder. So I'm not really like, mm, I could do without that part. But let me see. Um, I don't know. That's weird. Oh, I love it though. It is super matte. I just put it on the inside of my hand. They are super matte eyeshadows and even on the finger like when it's blended. So if you want a matte look, it's a great matte eyeshadow. And they have a few colors. I have um, chestnut and I have muted mauve. And I like both of them. So those matte eyeshadows are great. And really quickly, I just want to mention three e.l.f. products that I'm eh, not so favorite don't really like, could do without. Um, okay, this one I don't hate. Like, I would order another one. It's just, I find it's only good for the summertime, in my 
my like because I don't like getting messy with my fingers and my lips it's the conditioning lip balm in SPF 15 and I have like a nude color which I really like and I like the way it, it smells I like the way it looks on the lips um I like it has SPF but I don't ever use this in the fall in the winter even the spring the only time I use this is in the summer I'll throw it in a bag and I'll put it on my finger or on my lips for a little bit of color and because it was only three dollars or wait yeah this is only three dollars um so I don't care whatever I don't really care about like losing it or if it melts all over my bag but um in the summertime I do like this so maybe give it a try but at the same time I don't really like getting my fingers in there and I've had it for almost a year and I've hardly put a dent in it so it's whatever okay. this one I just wouldn't recommend it's the lip exfoliator I mean I still kind of use it sometimes like but first thing it broke like when I first when I first got it it was broken which sucked and then it was only smooth like the first two times I used it and then now it's just like I'm taking sandpaper and like sandpapering my lips. It's awful. Um, but whatever. If you want to give it a try, it's your thing. My last thing I'm really disappointed about because I watched someone's video and they like raved about this. So I'm like, I'm going to try it because I love like different brow products. Um, and it's the eyebrow lifter and filler. So the lifter, which is like the creamy side, that's fine. I mean, I have a ton of fillers, but it's just this, like, white pencil mark right there. And, um, so the lifter's fine, but I don't really, I didn't really need that. Um, and the brow part is just, gosh, it's awful. It's awful. I don't even know how you would be able to use this on your brows. It's just, like, ugh. It's, you guys probably can't tell. You might be able to, actually. See how thick it is? It's like, how would that even go into your brows? And then, like, I'm rubbing on it, and it's smearing. And it's like, if, I, if my eyebrows smeared like that, I would be livid. So, those are just my not-so eh, products. But, um, other than that, I love e.l.f. products. So, I just wanted to show you guys my top ten. And um, leave down below if I didn't talk about any that you guys love, because... There's some that I still haven't tried out, so let me know if there's any I missed that I need to try. And, um, I don't know. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!